damaging leaks of nuclear secrets to Chinese spies. 1995, the CIA discovers evidence that a spy has helped China steal top secret nuclear plans. Plans that allow China to duplicate one of America's most advanced nuclear weapons. He did not tell us he was talking to the Chinese and what he gave them information wise. What? Wait. He did not tell you that he was talking to the Chinese and what information he gave them? That's right. How he, do we know that he gave them information? We know because he wouldn't tell us what he told them. I'm telling you, I did not do anything. Senior administration's officials credit no Trent Sherlock with forcing them to confront the realities of Chinese atomic espionage. Did you tell the FBI that the only place the Chinese could have gotten what they got was from the labs and particularly from Los Alamos. No. We have been told by other sources that that's exactly what you did. The uh, investigators failed to uh, look at all possible uh, places that this leak could have occurred. They went to one laboratory and looked at one individual. The next thing that happened was a front page New York Times story, a blockbuster about China stealing U.S. nuclear secrets from the laboratory at Los Alamos. Basically, it broke the thing wide open. And finally, after four years, the story was out in the public domain. And two days later... Bill Richardson fired Wen Lee. We, we made a press release, and because of the furor over this issue, it immediately snowballed. We expected that, and I am not apologizing for the way we did it. Mm -hmm. and, and this man, I... Uh, understand his concern about uh, before the legal process takes place of, of, of being part of a media circus that uh, I don't believe uh, anybody's responsible for. I devote the best time of my life to this country to make this country stronger, mm -hmm. particularly in the nuclear weapon area. Yeah. But suddenly they, they told me I'm a traitor. And I'm just totally lost. I mean, I'm, I'm just don't understand this, this whole, you know, things. It's on the news. Everyone is saying he's a spy. Isn't he from Taiwan? Is he pro-China? Wen Ho Li is an American citizen. That means he is protected by our Constitution. But if he's not innocent, how can I support him? Look, he's either innocent or guilty. If he doesn't declare he is innocent, I'm sorry, but to me, it looks like he must be guilty. I knew I had to show people what I was witnessing in the courthouse. Tell them about how one small person is facing all the money and power of the government. And I knew that if I can get the message out, then the money we needed would follow. Before there was moveon.org, there was whenholy.org. The website would become the central switchboard and organizing tool for supporters. There was no effort to scapegoat no. this man. We have tried to protect his legal status, his reputation as much as we can. Oh, Mr. Secretary, you've tried to protect his reputation? You've ruined the man's life. Headlines CNN. Nuclear physicist Win Ho Lee charged with 59 counts in the Los Alamos case. Senator Richard Shelby. Wen Ho Lee is responsible for the greatest loss of our nuclear military secrets in our nation's history. Steve Younger, director at Los Alamos. These codes, in my opinion, represent the gravest possible security risk to the United States. One scientist said Lee may have a reasonable explanation. If he's the greatest spy of the 20th century, why is he out there mowing his lawn? On December 10th, 1999, they arrest Wen Ho Lee. The American dream die at that moment. When you steal our nuclear secrets, we're not going to let you communicate with anyone. He's denied bail, jailed in solitary confinement for nine months, most of them in this cell. Brody, you were here when Wen Holy was here? Yes, ma'am. How would you describe this prisoner? A uh, model prisoner. Very quiet, kept to himself, and didn't ask for much of anything. Mm -hmm. um, did he seem to fit the profile of the other prisoners here? No, ma'am. In what way? Uh, essentially that, being very quiet, keeping to himself, uh, he, didn't, he didn't go out of his way to cause problems at all. He just stayed here and did his time. He also was very interested in exercising. Yes. 
How would you describe that? You take him outside? Yes, ma'am. He'd go out to the yard and he would actually run laps in the yard with his shackles. With the shackles on. Until the presiding judge became disgusted with the government's case. We make mistakes. We make mistakes for various reasons. I feel badly about what happened to Dr. Lee in regard to his pretrial detention. It is only the top decision makers in the executive branch who have caused embarrassment by the way this case began and was handled. They did not embarrass me alone. They have embarrassed our entire nation and each of us who was a citizen of it. Because I was complicit in an error, I felt, uh, that's what led to my personal apology to him following his sentencing. Nothing we could say today that Judge Parker did not say. I think, unfortunately, race played a large factor in this investigation. Secret Spirit investigators had a subtle bias <clears throat> that the perpetrator had to be ethnic Chinese. We know that the Chinese, the PRC, will come into a facility and they'll be interested in any and all people uh, who are of ethnic Chinese ancestry. I'm a Hispanic American. I have gone out of my way to send a message to the Asian American community that we will not tolerate discrimination. We're not racially profiling anybody. Someone in the government has done very damaging thing to me. I don't want this happen to anybody again. I don't know who did this to me, and I don't know why. The nation could take comfort in knowing that the national security interests were vindicated here. Very difficult to reconcile the two positions that one day he's a terrible risk to the national security and the next day they're making a plea agreement for a, an offense far more modest than uh, what had been alleged. This was done. This is something that we are not going to tolerate. By Wen Ho Lee? Yes. Are you not going to tolerate it with all the other people who have done the same thing? If anybody else has done that and we have the information, uh, we are going to treat them the same way we're treating this individual. You know, we all do the same, all the candidates. We say we're going to think about it. Right. We then announce we have thought about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and thirdly, we announce that we're going to announce. Now, you are in the third stage. I'm in the third stage, but I'm going to run. You I'm are going to run for president. Such a crowded field, candidates need to have something to make themselves stand out. In the case of New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, it's his resume. I've been a governor. I was secretary of energy. I've cut taxes. I've made schools better. I'm a negotiator. I've rescued Americans, hostages, and servicemen. Oh my God, Bill Richardson is Batman! <laughs> I am Batman! I've rescued hostages. I've been good. I've been a pauper. All right. <laughs>